Welcome guys, take a look at this image, this other image and this other image you can see they are wearing different clothes and they are in a different scene and you can see that their faces are the same you can see these are the images i created using this particular website if i also want to show you i'm editing my videos using this same image that i'm showing you to show you that i myself am using this same strategy so you can see my video i'm editing here this is a fork tape video i'm editing is the same strategy i am using in this video now in this video i'm going to show you how to create consistent character using this website called pig Lumen. i'm going to walk you down from setting up your prompt to creating your images everything we are going to be covering in this video is completely free because this website as of the time of recording this video is free so first we are going to look at setting up your prompt so I'm going to go back to chat GPT you can actually do this using your phone um, I went to chat GPT and I uploaded my story the entire story which I'm working on you upload the story if you don't know how to upload your story simply come over here click on this attach file then you select the file you want to upload to chat GPT after uploading your story you come here you put in this particular prompt I said from this story you will be providing me with text prompts that I can use to generate images from the text that I will be providing you. So meaning I need to provide ChatGPT with some text to get me image text from, from the story. So I send that and ChatGPT replied. Then I go ahead and ask ChatGPT to give me the names of all the characters in the story. You can see my prompt here. This is what I asked ChatGPT to do. And ChatGPT went ahead to give me a reply. So these are all the names of the characters in my story that I'm working on. After getting the name of my characters, I, I came down here. So I'm asking ChatGPT now provide text prompt for each characters. Add age, dress. So I'm letting ChatGPT to know that these people are Nigerian. So I'm asking ChatGPT to describe each character distinctively because I want to use it to maintain consistency when creating their images. If you need all these texts I'm talking about, let me know in the comment section of this video and I will send you a link for you to get access to this. Now we we'll got done. So ChatGPT is giving me the text prompt for each of these characters. So this is the text prompt for each of these characters this is for Ngozi then this is for Amaka then this is for Ngozi's mother so from here we can change their age and also change everything I'm going to show you how to do that so for Ngozi I'm going to copy this entire prompt so this is a prompt for Ngozi I'll copy this entire prompt now I'll just go to my document so um, this is the prompt I edited for Ngozi so let me quickly show you how to edit this prompt so let's say I paste this prompt for Ngozi so um, this is Ngozi a 16 year old Nigerian girl so uh, from here I'm going to add Ngozi so I'll add Ngozi then what I'm going to do from here I'll change the age so um, depending on the um, age range that you're looking for so for this age range I'm looking for a 19 years old girl so I'm going to add 19 years old girl a 19 year old girl Nigerian girl with dark brown skin and a slim build she has large expressive eyes so I don't want to use the expressive eyes feed with innocence and curiosity so I don't want to use that so I'll just remove that from here so I continue with her braided hair is neatly tied back. Initially, she wears a faded school uniform. I don't want her to wear a faded school uniform. So these are the things you are going to be editing, what you don't like in the prompt that ChatGPT gives you. All I want the character to have is to get her age, the stature, then what she's wearing. That is what I want to get out of this. So from here, I'll just remove all these other parts. Then I'll only have this. So this is the prompt for Ngozi after editing it. So Ngozi, a 19 year old Nigerian girl with dark brown skin and a slim build. Her braided hair is neatly tied back. She wears a school uniform and white shirt and a blue skirt with standards. So this is a prompt for Ngozi. So what we are going to do, what you are going to do is to copy this, the entire prompt according to each of these characters, edit the prompt to what you want each of these characters to represent. So after that, we are going to copy the entire prompt for all the characters. Then we'll go back to chat GPT. And from here, we are going to come down. So from here, this is what I asked chat GPT to do. So after copying all your prompt, you come over to chat GPT and tell chat GPT this particular prompt. Store this as text 
text image prompt for all the characters. So I am saying ChatGPT to store this as text image prompt for all the characters. So after that, you um, open a quote and you paste all the characters. Yes, this is the text prompt for all the characters. So after you paste that, ChatGPT will reply by the text image prompt for all characters has been saved. So this has been saved. Then from here, I'm saying remember to use them when you see their names in the text that I will be providing. When you prepare your prompt like this, it's going to be easier for you. Don't worry, you're going to see what I'm about to do in this video. So I'll go down, ChatGPT is telling me I understood I'll use the save text prompts um, whenever their names appear in the text you provide. So this is my story, this is the first paragraph. So I'm just going to copy the um, first paragraph here. Then I'll go over to ChatGPT. So this is the first paragraph. All you have to do, you don't need to tell ChatGPT to provide a text prompt for you again. By pasting your first paragraph or any text from your story, ChatGPT is going to give you a description that you will use to generate your image. So this is a prompt that I can use to generate my image. So all you have to do is to come over here, copy this prompt, then you're going to go over to pick nomen. So this is the website. When you get to this website, you will come over here and click on generate for free. It's accessible on your phone. And when you click on generate for free, they are going to ask you to sign in. So you're just going to sign in using your Gmail account. So after that, you will come over here where you see create, click on create. And from here, you're going to see where you can enter your image prompt. But before entering your image prompt, you need to come over here. Here you select the model. So for this, I'm using the Peak Numen Art version 1. Then from here, you select the aspect ratio that you want to use. For this aspect ratio, what I want to use from here is the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which is the YouTube site. So I'll select that. Then you come over here, badge image count. So from here, you can select your image count, either one image, two image. So for now, the three image or four image counts, they are for premium users and their pro version is not expensive. But you can go on with the two image. That is what I'm using for my story. So you select the two image and that is that. Then you come over here and paste in that prompt. So we are going to paste in your prompt from here. So after pasting in your prompt, you will come over here. This is where you send the prompt. So you just click on this place to send the prompt. And from that single prompt, you can see the image that I got. You can see how realistic this image looks like. Now, let me go ahead again and show you how to keep on generating your image. So you are going to go ahead and from here, you can just copy any part from your to test what I'm about, what I'm showing you that is working. I'll go on and copy this. So I'll just copy any part of my story. Then I'll come over to ChatGPT. So from ChatGPT here, I'll paste it. So this is what you are going to do. So I'll paste it. But before you paste in that particular prompt, what you want to do, you want to get a concise text image prompt that you can use. This is another prompt that you are going to need for ChatGPT. So paste in this particular prompt. So for this prompt, I'm saying give me a concise prompt, still maintaining the same details. So after writing this, I'll put, I'll open a quote. So I'll go to my story. I'll just copy any paragraph of my story that I want to create an image for. So from here, I'll just paste in um, the text, then I'll send it. Now let's see the response from ChatGPT. So what I'm about to create an image for is when she arrived at the school, she was shocked. So we have gotten the image text prompt. So what we are going to do is to highlight our text prompt then we'll copy it now we are going to go over to pick nomen this is the website so we'll go over to pick nomen so what i'm going to do from here is this we are not going to paste in our text prompt from here what we are going to do to maintain consistency is to remix the same image so this same image you can see the face so if you come over here if you come down just take your mouse over the image if you take your mouse over these three dots you will see remix option in case you are using your mobile phone and you can't find this remix option, to get this remix option, open the image. And when you open the image, if you come down here, you can see remix. So once you click on remix, the prompt that you use for this particular image will be inputted into this prompt area. So all what we are going to do is this. We are going to highlight this part, just delete it. So we are going to say realistic image of... Now we are going to paste in our new prompt. Ngozi a 16 year old Nigerian girl so we are we, you can just change the age to 19 year old like I said so now we have gotten this from here you will click on 
create so from here you can see that this is the outcome of the new image you can see the, resem the resemblance but different scene and different clothes so you can see her face this is when she's at the school so this is how you create you can see the same image also then if you come over here this is when she's in the hostel you can see the resemblance in the face this is when she's in the hostel the same um, resemblance from the face so this is how you create your consistent character using big no man ai so if this video was helpful let me know in the comment section of this video i've also created a video on how to generate consistent character image using google image fx if you want to watch that video i'll leave the link to the video in the comment section of this video and also in the description of this video thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video